In this video, we'll be going over the memorization approach of best time to buy and sell stocks 3. Let's go over the thought process. So the recursive approach is inefficient due to overlapping recursive calls. We can avoid overlapping recursive calls using memorization. Now, what do we need to cache? In each of the recursive call, we are trying to find the maximum profit, so max profit, at the current I, S, and T. So the current index, the current state, and the current transaction. Current number of transactions left. This means we can cache I, S, T with max profit. Now let's go over the pseudocode. So we're going to create a 3D matrix, MIMO to cache previously calculated results. So the x-axis is equal to i, then the y-axis, or it's not equal to y, it's, it's represent, represents i, then the y-axis represents s, and the z-axis represents t. Now we want to fill MIMO with negative 1. This is because 3D matrix has a default values of zeros inside the matrix. And then there's a side case we need to handle where we are not allowed, uh, we cannot make any profit out of the input array. This is to prevent the side case where we cannot make any profit from the input array. Now we're going to implement the top-down memorization approach. We're going to pass in. We're going to pass in our memo, our cache, and then what's the base case? So if i is out of bound or t is equal to zero, we're still going to return zero because there's no more transactions left. And now we need to check with our memo. If memo i, s, and t is not equal to negative one. This means we have already calculated the results for IST, so we can just return MIMO IST. Now, if S is go to zero, we want to find the larger profit between if we buy the current stock or if we skip the current stock. And then before we return the results, we want to put it, we want to cache it inside of MIMO. Then we can return MIMO, uh, return the results. And then if our, if our current state is go to sell, then we want to recursively find the profit if we sell the current stock or if we skip the current stock. Then before we, we return the results, we want to put the results at inside the memo and then we can return memo. We can just delete this one. Actually, we can leave it. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. For the time complexity is of m or n times 2 times 3. So let's go to O of n, where n is the, this is actually O of n times 2, because where n is the length of the input rate. And then the first one is filling MIMO with negative 1. The second one is there are n times 2 times 3 possible states with I, S, T. And our space complexity is our MIMO plus our recursive call stack. So it's still go to O of N, where N is the length of the input array. This is our MIMO, and O of N is our recursive call stack. Now let's go over the code. So we're gonna create our cache, MIMO, to cache previously calculated results. The first one is the index i, so it's prices.length. The second one is the state, so there are two possible states, zero and one, so we put two here. And then for our number of transactions, we, have, we can have zero transactions, one transaction, or two transactions, so we have three here. Now we wanna fill MIMO with um, negative one.
then we can find the maximum profit using with our memo or cash pass it in the original side case stays the same or the base case when i is out of bound and the number of transactions is go to zero we can no longer make any transactions so the profit is zero so we can just return zero then we will check our cash if we have already calculated the results for the current parameters if it's not going to negative one that means we have already calculated so we just return the cash results then we want to pass in our memo to our other other recursive calls and then before we return the results we want to cache them Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.